In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to play all the audio from your Android phone to your Google Home device. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to play or mirror all the audio from your Android phone to your Google Home device. Today we're going to be using the Google Home Max, but this will work on other Google Homes as well. Now, a few things that you need to know is this is available on Android phones only. Now, before we begin, make sure that your phone has Android 4.4 or higher. In today's video, we're using a phone that has Android 8.0, so we should have no issues. Also make sure that your phone and your Google Home are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Then we are going to go into the phone settings and make sure power saving mode is off. So because that's gray, it is turned off. And then we're going to head into the settings of the phone and go under the apps. And then we are going to go down to Google Play Services. Once you find Google Play Services, open that up and we are going to make sure that under the permissions option, we have microphone enabled. So it will not work unless you have microphone enabled. Now that we have gone and changed all those settings, we can go and head into the Google Home application. Now again, this will only work on Android phones. It will not work on iOS devices or Windows phones. If we go into the menu here, then we can select cast screen. Now you will see this notification that says this device is not optimized for casting, so your experience may vary. It most likely will work back in the day they optimized every phone that was able to cast the screen. So here we can say, do not show that again. And now it is showing all the options of what we can cast to. So here are my Chromecast devices. Now, if I select one of those, it's going to mirror my screen. I have a full nother video about that. But if you would like to cast your audio, you just need to select a Google Home or you can select a Google Home group or even a Chromecast audio device. So today we're going to select the Google Home Max and then it has paired, you hear that little notification that it has been connected. So now any or most of the audio that we play on our phone will play out of here. So if you get any notifications, it will come out of the Google Home Max. So now let's go into a music application and we can test this out. So here I am going to play this song. and now it is playing out of the Google Home Max. I can adjust the volume on the Google Home Max, or I can adjust the volume here on my Android phone and it will change the volume over there. You also have the option to activate the Google Home. Hey Google. Set the volume to eight. Set the volume to three. Now this will also work with any other application. So if I am going to YouTube and I want to play a video, it will be able to do that as well. And the audio will come through the Google Home device. Now you may notice a slight lag when you are listening to the audio on here and watching the video. So you may want to just cast to a Chromecast device if you are watching a video, but it will work and games and other things will work as well. So uh, the main reason you may want to use something like this is because maybe an audio app that you are using does not support the cast functionality. So if you go to Google Play Music or other apps, you can just simply cast to this device, but certain apps don't have that. So that is why you would want to cast the audio from your Android phone to your Google Home device. Now, when you are done using the cast feature and playing or mirroring your audio over to the Google Home, to cancel, all you need to do is head back into the Google Home application. And if you're back on the main page, just select menu and go in here and then you can disconnect and that will stop casting the audio. Or you can pull down the notification drawer and here you can see casting screen. I pull that down again and now I can select disconnect and it has stopped casting the audio from my phone to the Google Home Max. One other benefit of casting from the Google Home app to your device is if you have a song like in Google Play Music that is downloaded on your phone and not in the cloud, it will play that song. So here in this playlist, this song, this ever felt song is uploaded to my Google Play Music. When I select it, it plays no problem. But this next two, they are not actually stored on Google Play Music. They are on my phone only. So when I select it, it will actually play. If I was just casting to my Google Home from the Google Play Music app, songs that aren't uploaded won't cast. So essentially everything that you play on your phone will play on the Google Home device. 
Another way to stop is to also ask the Google Home to stop and it will then stop casting. Hey Google, stop. And there you can see on screen, it says cast screen to max has ended. And that's it for mirroring your phone's audio to your Google Home. If you have any further questions about how this works, let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see how to mirror your full Android phone to a Chromecast device, make sure you select the video right here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.